boy and girl in the house back with another bang on video for ladies and gentlemen kai have aids ladies and gentlemen yes kai have aids is determined to leave by and uh, by a leverkusen this summer and buyer is in you know the uh, leverkusen are looking to sell him but the problem is they're asking a too much amount of money but there are three clubs who are lining lining to make a signature for uh, of kai have aids permanent on their team sheet number 1 Bayern München number two, Arsenal number three, Liverpool. But the problem is the crazy price that Leverkusen are asking, hundred million euros. I don't think so. That 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 kid deserves that much amount of money. It's a vastly overpaying, and it's like putting a lot of pressure. I mean, this could be similar to what what is happening with Joao Felix. I mean, just the price tag is actually putting a lot of pressure in the development of the youngster in La Liga. Moving on. Arsenal and Barcelona are monitoring 17-year-old Brazilian forward Gabriel Veron. Palmeiras have already refused a 15 million euros offer from Everton. Barcelona and Arsenal opened the conversations for Gabriel Veron, and Palmeiras are asking somewhere around 26.4 million pounds. That is an unbelievable amount of money. For a, a cr that's crazy amount of money. I I I, I know why. I don't like the fact that uh, you know the Brazilians are definitely talented. I'm not saying they're not, but the problem is that clubs like Real Madrid. I mean, they sign players uh, like Vinicius and Rodrigo uh, uh, for for unbelievable vast amount of money, and that is the biggest reason why you know these Brazilian clubs who believe that there's they have certain prodigies who could definitely go out and make it, make a big name in Europe and other leagues. You know, they 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 tend. to overprice these kind of players you know selling them for 26 27 million and and obviously you can say that i am crying foul because arsenal cannot afford that much amount of money to be putting on a very young player true i completely believe that but he's not he's not sort of a jaden sancho kind of a player who could be bought somewhere around 20 million and could be sold somewhere around at 100 million right now that's the price of jaden sancho i'm so sorry 117 million pounds according to transfer market so pretty much clear that this overpricing is definitely going to cost arsenal and let's see if arsenal can make a deal or not but moving on here's the reality of how everyone is thinking that thomas partey is becoming an arsenal player soon a, a source close to atletico madrid's players thomas partey is now confirming that the players family supports the option to move to the english premier league currently well it has been revealed uh, that uh, arsenal are going to be looking for bargains when the next window opens and it has been said that Ryan Fraser of Bournemouth is someone they'll go for the most exciting one is Luka Mod Luka Jovic from Real Madrid to Arsenal it could be a loan deal but let's see also Thomas Partey's father has spoken to a True FM a uh, a uh, uh, South American commercial radio station and has confirmed that his son Thomas Partey is currently in talks with Arsenal this is what Thomas Partey's father said i called my son after hearing the rumors and he told me that the rumors are true he told me that they are holding talks between him and arsenal it all depends on the offer atletico are demanding if he goes to arsenal fine they have a lot of supporters in ghana i will be happy if he decides to move to arsenal what they are discussing now is how atletico will release him and also also i'm not, I'm not done yet the agent of thomas parte daniel himenes has hinted that the player is not satisfied with the terms of the new contract submitted by atletico madrid Also, Thomas Partey, with the support, with the support and the encouragement of his family, has told that it has told his current club, Atletico Madrid, about his desire to move to Arsenal and go into a new experience in the Premier League. Also, the talks between Arsenal and Atletico Madrid have not broken off in the past few weeks and are in a sensitive stage, as the Spanish club who are refusing to allow the Ghanaian player to leave unless the, his release clause is paid in full. Arsenal proceeded to provide several formulas that would enable the parties to conclude a satisfactory deal for Partey. It is not included that the loan form for 18 months with the mandatory deferred purchase option is on the table. You know, Arsenal are doing these kind of smart things, but let's see if things will pan out to be and if things will uh, make sure that Arsenal will sign Thomas Partey. But it's pretty much clear, almost certain that Thomas Partey is coming to Arsenal. Arsenal are on are keen. on signing real betis uh midfielder nabil fakir the problem is that betis have have an asking price of 44 million pounds which will prove to be a stumbling block and also the problem is the biggest problem uh, that 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 real betis are actually 
uh, hoping to uh, you know uh, overcome is that Tottenham were able to agree a 27 million pound deal for Giovanni Lo Celso last season, despite the La Liga side wanting a fee as high as 67 million pounds. And with the coronavirus striking and Fakir by far Betis's highest earner, it remains very possible that they will accept a reduced bid only the transfer window finally arrives. Also, Asna are keen to replace Dani Ceballos, who is reportedly like, likely to return to Real Madrid in summer. But here are the average wages of 10 Premier League clubs. Coronavirus cuts, I'm so sorry, coronavirus wage cuts are not taken into account. You can see Manchester City weekly pay is an unbelievable, astonishing amount of money. Unbelievable. But moving on. Chelsea fans have slammed the UEFA system, which could see them pipped by ninth-placed Arsenal to a Champions League spot next season. Well, the Blues are currently fourth in the Premier League and were on the course to seal the spot in the prestigious tournament again, especially with Manchester City banned. But the problem is th their fans are not liking it. One of the fans said, "How the fuck are Arsenal above Chelsea in this coefficient?" Another one said, "Using coefficient method is completely flawed and even more flawed if they count the 90-20 season as data." on the overall records. Another one said with this whole UEFA coefficient thing and ranking each club based on European performances, how the fuck are United Spurs and City and for the love of God, Arsenal somehow about Chelsea despite us winning three European trophies in the past decade. That's an unbelievable bizarre stat, isn't it? Well, these are the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all the videos that is coming to, uh, uh, to you on this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon. Bye-bye.